This is AP News Minute. President Trump got a rousing welcome as he arrived in India for a two-day visit. He held a rally with India's prime minister at one of the world's largest stadiums. Joe Biden is looking for an endorsement from influential Congressman Jim Clyburn ahead of South Carolina's primary. Democratic frontrunner Bernie Sanders campaigned in Texas with an eye on Super Tuesday. South Korea is reporting over 160 more cases of the coronavirus. Italy and Iran also reported a rapidly growing number of cases of the virus, which began in China. Haitian soldiers and men who said they were off-duty police officers exchanged gunfire on Sunday. Police officers have been demonstrating in Haiti, demanding better pay. President Trump says India has agreed to buy $3 billion worth of advanced military equipment from the United States. The president made the announcement during his two-day visit to India. The White House is asking Congress for urgent funds to combat the deadly coronavirus. Thousands of cases worldwide are spooking financial markets and restricting international travel. Democratic presidential candidate Bernie Sanders is getting a strong backlash after his positive comments about late Cuban dictator Fidel Castro. Democratic Congresswoman Donna Shalala suggested Sanders speak to Cuban voters about their opposition to communism. Disgraced movie mogul Harvey Weinstein was convicted of rape and sexual assault against two women. He could face almost three decades in prison. His lawyers say they will appeal. Democrats aimed their fire at Senator Bernie Sanders in Tuesday night's debate in Charleston, South Carolina. Sanders, currently the Democratic frontrunner, was criticized about how to pay for his plans and previous statements about Cuba. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo says a truce between the U.S. and the Taliban is holding in Afghanistan. The two sides could sign a peace deal next week in hopes of ending 18 years of war. More cases of the coronavirus are being reported in South Korea, among them one U.S. soldier who is now quarantined off base. Concerns that the virus could slow down the world economy were blamed for more declining markets on Wednesday. The Dow lost hundreds of points for a second straight day on Tuesday. President Trump says the United States is ready for any threat from the coronavirus. Health officials say a new case in Northern California is apparently not linked to any travel overseas. Authorities in Milwaukee say an employee opened fire at one of the nation's largest breweries, killing five co-workers and himself. The shooter was identified as a 51-year-old Milwaukee man who worked at the Molson Coors Complex. The United States is using explosives as it builds a wall along the Arizona-Mexico border. The explosives were used in Organ Pipe National Monument on land considered sacred by Native Americans. The cause of an explosion and massive fire at the West Coast's largest oil refinery is under investigation. Firefighters say the blaze erupted in a cooling tower in the complex just south of Los Angeles Tuesday night. Markets in Asia dropped again on Friday amid concerns about the coronavirus and its economic fallout. This comes after Wall Street endured its biggest one-day dive in nine years. Health officials in Northern California are retracing the steps of a woman who's contracted the coronavirus. She's believed to be the first person in the U.S. to get the virus without traveling abroad or close contact with anyone who had it. Democrats are campaigning in South Carolina ahead of Saturday's presidential primary. Bernie Sanders said he doesn't believe that Joe Biden can beat President Trump. Biden took a swipe at a Sanders theme, saying the nation isn't looking for a revolution. No injuries were reported after a major water main burst in Houston, flooding a freeway and submerging vehicles. A boil water notice was issued for the city's entire freshwater system. Ben Thomas, the Associated Press, with AP News Minute.